I did not know that he was gonna surprise me like this, but like I said before, there was hope in my heart that maybe he would. This was a first. I mean, to surprise me at school with my friends around me, I was one of the luckiest kids. Forget in my school that day, probably in my entire neighborhood. What's up guys, it's your buddy Tyler coming at you with a brand new video here on My Retro Life. And wouldn't you know it, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is 30 years old. I can't even believe I'm saying that. In 1992, Sega was really making a household name out of not just the Sega Genesis, but Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic doll! Turn it to the camera. Back in those days, it was really hard to tell when a game was going to be coming out. You did not have the internet, so you had to flip through video game magazines and hope each month when a new issue came in the mail or you bought one on the newsstand, you had to hope that you would see images or pictures of a brand new video game coming out. And for me, in 1992, that brand new video game that I hoped and prayed for was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And sure enough, at one point, we started seeing this game show up in video game magazines. I remember seeing it on the front cover of EGM and just dying inside. I knew that this was gonna be such a great game. Looking at the pictures, Sonic had a new partner. He had a new sidekick, Tails, this really cute, charming fox with two tails. I remember back then, we were calling him Miles Prower. That was like his full legit name back in those days. And I used to call him Two Tails actually for a while. That was a, a thing I used to, I, I remember for the, probably the first year, always calling him Two Tails. I, I wanna say I was the number one Sonic fan who was anticipating this game, but of course, I probably wasn't. You yourself watching right now might remember those days very fondly. In fact, you may remember the entire marketing campaign that was centered around Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Tuesday. The game had come out a few days earlier in Japan, but the worldwide release date was November 24th, 1992, Sonic Tuesday. I actually remember the exact moment I got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and it was on Sonic Tuesday. There I am with my buddy Brian and my dog Maggie. And look, I'm wearing the t-shirt. I wore this t-shirt around a lot because I remember getting it back then in 1992. And I actually was too big for it when, when my dad first got this promotional t-shirt. I was too big for it to wear it back then. So I'm here wearing it in like 1994, 1995 when it actually fit me better. But that was an original Sonic the Hedgehog two promotional t-shirt that came out for Sonic Tuesday. And when you were a kid back then, you just were anticipating this like, you know, Christmas or something. It was this giant, almost holiday. People took off work to go buy their copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I unfortunately had to go to school. This was probably one of the most painstakingly long days of my first grade year. But this particular day, Sonic Tuesday, really stands out as one of the most amazing days, really, of my childhood, if I'm being honest. I had no idea, when I started that day at school, what my dad had planned for me. I figured I would probably have to go home and figure out ways to convince my mom and dad to buy me Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I knew the game had just come out. I mean, this was Sonic Tuesday. Everybody knew the game was coming out. And so I was probably devising all these plans while I was sitting there in class doing whatever kind of schoolwork was assigned to us that day. I can remember waiting and waiting for that day to end. I went to after school daycare back in these days because my mom and my dad both worked. And in after school daycare, often I was one of the last kids picked up from after school daycare. And so I'm there in this cafeteria and we're probably playing board games or something. And one of the teachers or, or daycare assistants yells to me, Tyler, your dad's here. And I look and I, I look around and I'm like, wait a second, he's here? I like, I remember getting super excited, totally excited because guys, he was there early. It was like way earlier than normal. And so things started adding up in my mind. This is Sonic Tuesday. Dad's picking me up 
early from daycare. What's going on here? Is it possible? Could he be walking through this doorway? And I saw him, he's coming through. I can see him walking down the hallway to pick me up from where the, the car rider line normally was through those doors. And I remember seeing him walk in and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he's picking me up early. What gives? Sonic 2? And so he walks up to me with his hand behind his back. And I, I knew right then and there, he had a surprise for me. And I, I knew in my heart that it was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Dad pulled his hand out from behind his back and revealed to me Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I was elated, guys. I mean, I, I felt like I could jump out of my skin in excitement. This was the day I had been waiting for. I did not know that he was gonna surprise me like this, but like I said before, there was hope in my heart that maybe he would because he had surprised me time and time again with video games, but never at school like this. This was something altogether crazy because this was a first. I mean, to surprise me at school with my friends around me, I was one of the luckiest kids, forget in my school that day, probably in my entire neighborhood, because dad knew how much I wanted this game and he knew how important it was to me. Here I was, six years old, holding a brand new copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in the middle of my school hallway, about to leave. I remember like looking at my friends and being like, all right, so long guys, I'm going home to this. You know guys, I can remember this game being the moment I went from being a Sonic the Hedgehog fan to being Sonic the Hedgehog obsessed. This was the game that basically solidified, probably in all of our hearts, collectively as gamers and, and kids growing up back then with the Sega Genesis. This game sealed the deal. And from that point forward, it was Sonic Mania. I mean. This game broke records, guys. If people were on the fence about Sega and the Sega Genesis at this point, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was the one that made them jump over the fence. Not even jump over, break the fence down. This was the game that made it possible for Sega to blow past Nintendo at Sonic speed and really take the crown for a while during that 16-bit console war. It was after this game that Sonic was a float in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. I mean, at this point, Sega and Sonic the Hedgehog owned the hearts and minds of kids across America and the world. And I was one of those kids. I knew well before a lot of other kids my age how amazing this game was because I had it on day one. And I owe it all to mom and dad, and dad specifically for picking me up that day and surprising me the way he did with this game in his hands, walking through that elementary school exit door into the cafeteria to pick me up from after school daycare. I'll never forget that moment and every moment afterwards playing this amazing game. I'm curious, do any of you have a memory like this? Did you get Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on launch day, on Sonic Tuesday, or maybe you got it for Christmas or in the years that followed? I'd love to know about it in the comments below, so please leave a comment. And if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. I love talking about my game crazy family and all the memories that we shared together, which so many were caught on tape. I can't wait to show you what I have next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you next time.